Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and oh, why is it so dark? Oh, just give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Whew, that's uh, it's a lot better. Just with these uh, those shades on, it was so dark down here. I had to take them off. I've been uh, strip mining quite a bit off camera, and I've gotten 32 diamonds, and of course, you know, two stacks of iron and. Uh, about all the redstone and lapis a man could dream of. So uh, I've been doing a lot of off-camera uh, work, and it's really reaped its rewards, I'll tell you. We've got plenty of diamonds now, 32 plus the 28, I think it is, 25, 28 or something like that, in the chest upstairs, which means we have just about all the diamond diamonds that we need. And since we have all the diamonds we need... We need all the experience to match it, so I guess I'm going to be grinding out some XP here. And once I have enough XP, as I do, we can start enchanting. Woo, that's actually really good. <laughs> Okay, all jokes aside though, it feels really good to craft a full set of diamond tools and diamond armor here. And I'm just going to work on getting the best possible enchants off of these. Uh, let me check each one. Uh, I think we want prot 4 on all of those. We don't want smite. Looks like I might be doing a shovel or axe next. <laughs> or a book? No. <laughs> so yeah, I don't, I don't really want to take the risk of unbreaking and then some garbage and channel my that so I'll work on the tools next but I'm just gonna slowly be enchanting stuff as we go along and I won't be wearing this armor next just yet this will be saving for the boss battle and actually I wanna make a chest here and just put all of this in a chest for now because I don't really I'm not really prepared to wear it just yet. I don't want any durability lost. <laughs> but, now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can go ahead and move on to what we are doing this episode. When uh, when deciding what I wanted to do for this episode, I was kind of conflicted because there's a lot that... Oh, I missed a, missed a block there, didn't I? I was conflicted on what I actually wanted to do because there's quite a few things that need to be done, but I think what persuaded me the most, ah, oh, darn it, darn it, <laughs> is when I started, I started working on this, or trying to finish up the interior of this place, and I just, I noticed how good this room looked, right, and I kind of just took a look at our ravine outside, I'll, I'll show you a show you in a second I took a look at the ravine oh did I really miss another one are you kidding me huh whoops oh man that's not right right there I took a look at our ravine outside and I noticed how uh, ugly it is okay <laughs> and minecraft ravines are already pretty ugly so it's quite impressive when you think about it, how we've actually taken what is already very ugly in this game and turned it into something even uglier. <laughs> so I'll show you. Um, yeah, so there's just torches littered everywhere, granite, and cobblestone. It's just, it's not a great look. And then, you know, you walk into this wheat farm here and it's just so elegant and, and just perfect, right? <laughs> so what I want to do is maybe work on the look of the ravine today and maybe give us something to work towards, you know? Trying to make the place look beautiful. Or not beautiful, that that just doesn't sound right. Look better, look great, look look nice, you know? Proper. Uh, I don't know. We're just going to work on the ravine. And the start of that is I want to put a glass top on it. So I smelted up some glass and we got some more in the furnace. And I'm just going to put a glass layer over top here, and I'm going to terraform it a little bit to fit our needs. But that's the plan, is we're just going to start with a glass top. And eventually, in the future, we will light up this whole thing, and it'll 
hopefully look good you know having the whole inside of the ravine lit up but like chunks like that i gotta take out and it's just the small stuff and i'm gonna remove the staircase and we're just gonna do some small things to start out unfortunately i ran out of glass pretty quickly but this is the progress we've made so far and that's basically what it's going to look like is just this glass top that goes all the way to the other side over there but there are other things that we can do before i want to go and actually collect more glass and one of those is getting rid of this nasty cobblestone staircase right here in the middle oh right i keep forgetting i can't destroy that uh, die right there you go <laughs> And you're probably thinking, well, if you get rid of the staircase, are you going to get up and down, huh? Huh? Ladders? No, that'll look just as bad. Now, we're going to add a water elevator here next to the grinder here. Um, this is going to be our way up right here. So, we're just going to put a backing right there. And we'll put two signs on the wall. Got to make the signs first. I wasn't quite prepared for this just yet. But, uh, you, you get the, you, you know how to do signs and stuff, right? Surely? Hopefully? No? Do you want me to show you? Oh, what if I could find the wood? <laughs> what if I would? Wood? <laughs> okay, so, we're just gonna put these signs here, and we'll fill this. Oh, guess what's done? <laughs> and the water will go right there. Soul sand will go right there. And we'll fill this all the way up with water to the top. And once all the water is up to the top with solid blocks, we can put in a soul sand right there. And it should just shoot us right up to the top. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, we might want to mark that better and make it look a little better. But for now, that will serve its purpose. And then the next part is pretty simple. We kill the zombie to get his chainmail armor because it looks shiny and cool. No, it's not actually the next part, but, huh, that's odd that that double pulses, <laughs> why did it do that, <laughs> where does it do that at, I'm, I'm distracted right now, but, it's very odd that it does that, oh well, it still seems to work, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Now, let's see, we want to go down here, so let's just make this look half decent, maybe. Um, can we just follow this water down here? Ah, perfect. That's going to make a mess, but that's fine. And our fall point will be right there. Okay, perfect. And that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so we've got this water elevator that goes... Takes us up and down. But it's getting kind of cramped in here now because of it, right? I had to move the bed and stuff. Um, so, I, oh crap. We can't expand that way. But we can expand around this. So... Here is our, this is where our zombie thing is right here. And we've essentially got this entire room behind it that we can dig out and make our home. <laughs> because like I said, it's getting quite crowded with that elevator there. But that elevator is definitely making things a lot better for us. And if we want, we can make this glass right here. And we can see the zombies go up. I don't think that will cause any problems. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think it will. So that is something we can add. But until then, I'm going to tear down those stairs and then maybe shape this room up a little bit more. So the staircase is now gone. Oh wow, perfect timing. I do a clip and the mob farm finishes and has a loud dinging noise in the background. You know what, let's just go ahead and knock this out real quick. Shoot ourselves, bite the bullet, whatever you want to call it. Just shut this thing up. <laughs> oh, he can get out. Okay, there you go. Anywho, as I was saying, uh, oh look, now we're going to need all of these tools. Perfect. <laughs> 
And then this just ruins the whole clip because now my inventory is a mess. I'm trying to trying to get organized. Now I gotta grab all of this and take it with me. Okay. <laughs> We've got two enchantments. I'm taking a break from this polishing that we've been doing. The staircase is gone. I think it looks a lot better. Um, improvements continue, but until we get to that point, we have some enchanting to do. So these are both on breaking three, right? Yes. That's smite four. So I think we're going to do a axe here and breaking three. Efficiency four and breaking three. That's all you can ask for in an axe. And now we have one more. I could use a silk touch for sure, but I think we're going to go ahead and put protection four on a chest plate here, unless this is sh ooh, looting three. I think you go with that. You can always get uh, <laughs> silk touch and protection any the day of the week. But like I said, looting three on a diamond sword, you just can't pass that. Looting three on breaking three, that's not a bad enchantment at all. <laughs> and we can probably do a disenchant on our other diamond sword. Because we just don't need it <laughs> with a perfect enchant like that. I'm going to get back to work here. I've got some few more things I want to do before I'll show you all the continued progress. I'll be right back. Uh-huh. So I'm gathering sand here because we need the glass. And I'm taking a decent chunk out. And got three and a half stacks before my shovel broke. And I noticed... There's a desert temple here. <laughs> so I found this desert after I was caving. I dug up and I dug up into a desert biome. So we got a desert biome now. And apparently there's a desert temple here. So might as well go inside and see what, see what we have here. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and light this up for our safety. And why do they add so many creepy sounds to this game now? Have you all noticed that? Like, just every turn you make is a creepy sound. It's insane. Alright, let's, let's use all our torches here. There's no reason to have a creeper spawn in here and ruin my day. <laughs> and we're going to be very careful about this. In fact, okay, we're just going to shred right through it. <laughs> no, oh. I guess I broke my torch. Oh, ghost blocks. Why is that still a thing in this version of the game? I swear. There it is. It's so annoying. It makes you want to not even get fast tools because you have to face ghost blocks. So we're going to break that. <laughs> and now we're safe. Okay, now we're safe. <laughs> you never know. Like I said, you never know. All right, let's go ahead and grab the TNT because sometimes it's better than the treasure in these places, I swear. Okay, let's dig back up. Oh, no, I want the sand. Yes. And, let's see. Horse armor, I guess we'll take that. Um, rotten flesh, because we've already got it in our inventory. Gunpowder for sure. Sand. <laughs> More sand. Woo. Uh, let's see. A saddle, of course, we will take. We can get rid of these pumpkins. See, Actually, we'll get rid of one of them. Uh... I don't know why I have so much of my inventory. I guess we'll get rid of that stone sword. Since it's almost broke. Look at the C3. It's not bad, not bad. More sand. Woo. <laughs> um, all this is good stuff in my inventory. This is problematic. Um, let's see. We can make these sticks into torches. Actually, we can do that without... Oh, no. That's just going to make... Okay, whatever. It's still... Still added space. We don't need clay. Um... Terracotta should have gone way earlier than that. More sand. Okay, that should be good. Not very good loot. <laughs> Not very good at all, but it's better than nothing. So it's kind of cool. We got all the sandstone we would ever need right here. I should remember that. And I think I'm going to go back to digging maybe because we just got new iron. So I can make a shovel. But unfortunately, our inventory is probably an issue, like I said. Yeah, I'll probably just head back, and then I'll uh, continue working and show you all what I've got. Okay, so I've 
done all that I really want to do for now. This has turned into quite the project, as most things typically do. I've got the glass top on, and I think it looks really good. I've got the mob farm covered in glass, which... <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's a lot of glass. I'm not sure if I like that much glass, but it works. Um, oops, I never covered this up, did I? Just do that right there. That works. And then I expanded this room right here because I needed to redo that staircase. And I got rid of all the cobblestone up top, you know, that you can that would be visible. And it's looking really good, like I said. Um, I'm almost thinking maybe we we should have done the staircase. Mm, I don't know. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's not easy. That's fine. We'll figure it out. I might rearrange this a little bit more. We got our elevators. I've added them both directions here because it seemed better that way. But like, like I said, that's all subject to change. I thought I had signs somewhere. My chests are just jam-packed full, so I'm gonna have to gonna have to make some more chests. Maybe put a storage area in. Thinking maybe over here in this corner, we got all this room. We might dig it out some more, but that's definitely gonna be coming up. Let's put a sign there. Okay, looking good, looking good. Okay, so I want to do some enchanting because. We are at level 34, and, you know, we need to. Uh, protection 4, I don't, can't really argue with that unless, no. Nope. Breaking 3, I'm breaking 3. Um, I will grab a book just to check, but I doubt there's going to be anything that changes my mind on that. Let's see, Mr. Book, where are you? Oh, we're going to combine that. Um, I know you're in here somewhere. Oh, I love trying to find stuff on camera. There's a bookshelf. <laughs> I know it's in here. I'll just go row by row, I guess. <laughs> You've probably already seen it like three times. Oh, uh, there they are. I'll get that mob farm in a second. I want to do the enchants first. Okay. Sharpness 3. It's tempting, but I think we're going to go with protection here. Protection 4 and breaking 3. That's really all you can ask for. Um, hmm. Might go with a pick here. Yeah, I think we're going to go with... Actually, we'll go with the shovel. Oh, we need lapis. <laughs> and then get rid of this cobble here because it's bothering me now that I'm on camera. Okay, let's see. Cobblestone. Not cobble. <laughs> Lapis. <laughs> Sorry, my mind's a little jumbled. Wow. I never realized how annoying that can be. That's dinging. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh... Ah, Fortune 3. It's not really what I wanted, but that's fine. Protection 3. And breaking 3. Um, or a book. Looting 2. Eh. I think we're gonna go with a pick. See what we get. Oh, we're not. <laughs> we're not at that level yet, are we? No. <laughs> Is this gonna be enough to get me there? Yes. <gasps> no, just short. Wow. There we go. Just had to hit it one more time. Okay, let's go up here and come on, silk touch. Efficiency four. <laughs> nice. Depth strider three, that's not bad. Respiration three, that's also not bad. We'll probably do a helmet next. But that's all the levels we have for now. So I thought we'd have more time in this episode. I was gonna do an automated pumpkin farm on top of the little changes we made to the base here but we're actually out of time for the episode so i'm just gonna end it off with a little oh we missed one here i'll have to remember to get some glass i'm just gonna do a little terraforming here around the ravine uh this part goes lower than the rest of the land so you get the glass sticking up out of the ground and just 
doesn't look right, so I'm just going to add some dirt around the edges here and make it look a little better while I talk for the outro. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like I said, we pretty much run out of time here. Um, we basically accomplished just the terraforming of the base. We are... Oh, all right, didn't get even shot off on me. <laughs> We're pretty set right now. I was gonna do that pumpkin farm like I mentioned, but I think I'll do that in the next episode. So next episode we will be building an automated pumpkin farm. If you've got any interest in that, well, that's what you can look forward to for the next episode. I'll get punched. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Um, yeah, we really need pumpkins to light up the base. We're going to make a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns, so that's what those will be for. Uh, let's see, I think we're going to have to fill in the lake here. Yeah. That's what that'll be for. It'll be a fully automatic pumpkin farm, so like, literally won't even touch it, and it'll be harvesting pumpkins all the time for us, so we should have all the pumpkins that we need. Basically, when a pumpkin grows, it'll... It'll harvest it for us. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. Oh yeah, we're, all, we're almost out of dirt here, but it looks good. Oh yeah, that's pretty much perfect, except we probably want to extend this side out just a little bit more with the 16 dirt that we have. Yep, okay, well we need more dirt, but it looks a lot better once that grass is grown too. It'll be really good. See, our base is really coming along. It's uh, it's a, quite the temporary base, I will say. It reminds me of Nebris's temporary base in Mindcrack Season 3. But, yeah, it's coming along. It's looking well. We're making a lot of progress. And hopefully we'll be able to fight the Ender Dragon here in a few episodes. And get an Enderman farm set up. Because I really want to advance in this world quickly. So that uh, building the castle would be a whole lot easier and we can really get into a lot of technological fun stuff, right? But until then, we got our temporary base and I really do want to, I'm not going to just skip over this base. This base here, I want to add all kinds of automated farms like automated sugarcane farm, pumpkin farm, melon farm. Uh, this one's already good for potatoes, carrots, wheat, beetroots. <laughs> Anything that grows like that. Oh, shoot. I left my wheat, or uh, not wheat, my carpet down here. Let me grab it real quick. And I'll end the episode. But yeah, I want to show this farm. It's fully finished now, which is really nice. Uh, carpet, there it is. I wonder if I can get enough XP to get to 30. Uh, no. <laughs> That's fine, we don't need to. I disenchanted that Bane of Arthropods Looting 3 one, it's just not very good, so. If you're wondering why that's gone, that's the reason. Let's see, is it? We don't need carrots here. Wheat, carrot, potatoes, all of them need to come with me. Um, seeds. Which I can't really carry anymore, but that's fine. Okay, let's take it all. We're half level away from level 30, but I guess you'll just have to see me enchant in the next episode because I'm not going to get it this episode. <laughs> yeah, the really, time really snuck up on me. This is quite the project and showed a lot of clips in it. i got to get this edited and get it out hopefully tomorrow, which would be Thursday. So if this goes up on any day that's not Thursday, know that <laughs> I didn't do well. <laughs> I missed. I messed up. So, yeah, the light level, it doesn't. it dips to maybe 10 at the worst spots. Yeah, and then everywhere else, yep, 10. So it gets to 10 in the middle, but oh, there's like light level 8 there. Did I miss some, or is it just like that? I think it's just like that, I don't know. It's odd that the other side isn't, doesn't dip that low. Where is this at? Light level 9, where did the 8? I find it funny that eight. Oh, it's because of the light pattern, I'd say. Okay, that's fine. Let's dump all of this into here. And, okay, why is that clogged up? Oh, man, that's the amount of stuff that was in there. Let's go ahead and, once this hopper is clear, <laughs> there's carrots in there. Okay, 
Let's go ahead and watch this thing. I know there's a few spots that aren't, but that's fine. We don't need it to be perfect. All right. Water comes down. All the items just blow straight in here. Oh. <laughs> Did not mean to pick all those up. Here, let's help it out a little bit. It's not usually going to be that full, but <laughs> it needs some help today. So I don't think we need potatoes. I think we're going to continue living off a of steak. But I do want to plant some beetroots, which are in here. And we'll get that as normal. Oh, I forgot to get stuck on the sides, which is fine, because we go up here and plant it anyways. But I guess we'll just plant our beetroot back on this back row. Do one row of beetroot, and then the rest will be wheat. That's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Uh, leave any comments on what you think about the base, this episode, criticism, uh, appreciation, anything. You know, Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you didn't. It's good to know. Feedback is always good. But that's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.